Ellie here. Today I'm going to be talking about my favourite pizza tool, the mini pizza roller. You can use this roller to get results like this. You can see the difference in the size of these two is quite a lot so if you're rolling your pizza with a normal roller you are gonna get a few issues with the crust in that it will roll the, all the bubbles away and I think it's harder to use on a pizza anyway because it's so big whereas this mini pizza roller is designed for you not to roll away your bubbles on your crust so you can roll the center of your, your dough away and then you can stop at the crust point so that you don't actually roll the crust out and that's because it's got these nice little smaller rollers and not that big roller so yeah i would never use that roller but that is a that's a good roller let's show you how it works so you want to get your dough to a certain size first uh, by hand um, and then once you've done that you can start using that so you can't use the roller at this point because there's just not enough of enough dough to to start rolling because you'll just go over the whole lot there if you're on a surface that's slippery like the stainless steel one is to have to have less flour on it because the flour will actually slide it around so you just sli sliding you want it to stick slightly onto the surface so that it gives you the holds it for you whilst you roll so you're just rolling in the center both ways out to get that thin first you don't want to roll you don't want to roll the crusts so just keep rolling until you feel that it's starting to stretch it bigger and then when you've got to the size where you can use this end of the tool do that I mean it's kind of nearly there now just don't go over the crusts at this point if you want a crust if you don't want a crust then you can start pushing out but I still would do it at this stage like this because you don't want to you want to keep it round as well. I have this tool on standby if I have any difficulties with my stretching and I love it. I've used it for years and it's a really good value tool. I bought it off Amazon, the link is below and I highly recommend it. It's, it's not expensive at all. It's a really good value, nice to have. You can use it for other things, not just for pizzas. As you can see here with the stretching, I am not going out over the crusts. I am rolling up to the edge of the dough and keeping it round at the same time. So I roll it in a circle motion to keep that crust untouched, but then to have the flat base inside of those crusts. The crust edge that will ensure that my pizza comes out with a nice crust but with a thin base which is how i like it and you have complete control over the way you want your pizza you can roll over your crust if you want to have a very low crust but you may well still have a lot of bubbles on that because i've rolled my crusts out completely and i've still had bubbling and if i hadn't rolled my crust out my dough would have become completely huge <laughs> on the edge of the pizza. So sometimes when I've got really bubbly, to tone it down a bit, I do prefer to roll, the, to roll over the crust. But if I just want to have a flat pizza, quite flat, I don't think they've ever fully come out flat in these lovely ovens, then I go over the crust a lot to make sure it's all rolled out as much as possible as much as the base is rolled out anyway so I'm going to show you here now all the different pizzas and then the outcomes from that roll from that stretch how easy it is to adapt your technique with your mini roller to suit the type of pizza that you want these are the outcomes what I did and how it came out
I do think that my stretching does improve in the summer months when my dough is warmer. Uh, in the winter, the spring and the autumn, I definitely do have dough stretching difficulties. I think this tool is amazing because I really struggle with stretching and I needed some help. I wasn't sure what to use to help me. I was throwing away a lot of dough that I'd broken up and just basically it just ended up a big ball of bubbles in the middle of my oven. It sort of shrunk because I hadn't stretched it properly. And so when I found this tool, I, I thought I'd give it a go and I haven't looked back. I love it. If you're new to pizza cooking, I think it's invaluable. I just couldn't do without it. I thought as I'd get more experienced and the amount of pizzas I've now made, I, I still wouldn't, I wouldn't be using it now at this point, but I am and I use that tool when I need it. I do get there in the end and I do stretch naturally a bit of the time, but a bit of the time I also use this fantastic tool. So I use a bit of both, a bit of traditional stretching and a bit of the mini pizza roller stretching. Quick shout out to the Love Spoon workshop based in Pembrokeshire in Wales has made me a got to pizza wooden logo sign. So thanks guys. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos and to support the channel. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.